when you start thinking about this stuff, you, you'll realize um, uh, a couple of um, interesting things. Like I just said, one of the things is these are not located from a design standpoint, they're located from the puzzle standpoint. So find the way that you uh, feel comfortable moving these things, these doors around, making the shapes of the rooms, making the relationships uh, about answering the problem, not about it as a design. So a couple things, the corridor is always gonna be six feet wide. Uh, and that six foot width um, is uh, kind of an interesting uh, number, it's uh, advantageous because it allows there to be 50% of the corridor open when I have a three foot door swinging into it. Uh, so that six foot wide is the minimum that any of the corridors are gonna be. It can be wider um, and that's fine if for some reason you need it to be wider, but there's no reason to make it wider unless you're getting some benefit out of it. Uh, the rooms will all be, have very specific uh, sizes that will be given to you. So, uh, you know, let's say this was supposed to be a 300 square foot room, but in the end, because of the way that things sort of worked out, it en ended up being, say, uh, 320 square feet. Well, that's fine. That's within the 10% tolerance range. Uh, so no need to worry about it. I would always aim at the accurate number, but if it changes a little bit or if you made a, a mistake and it's within that 10% uh, tolerance, I wouldn't bother fixing it because it's not worth the time. Uh, you, this is a very lenient uh, number, that 10% tolerance. It's actually fairly easy to make that work. And then we started to talk earlier about the idea of being careful about adjacent versus near versus communicating, all those kinds of terms. That's something you're just gonna have to test and, and, and get used to and uh, you know, we'll, it, it'll start to make sense as you, as you try it out a few times. And then there's kind of this interesting, um, interesting thing that uh, the second floor should not extend past the first floor. Uh, so that means uh, that when I'm separating out which rooms are gonna go onto the first floor and which rooms are gonna go onto the second floor, some rooms are likely to be, it's very clear it has to be on the first floor and some rooms are very likely to be clear that they have to be on the second floor. But there's gonna be a bunch of rooms, probably half or so, uh, maybe more than half of the rooms in the program that you don't know which floor they're supposed to go on to and so you have to actually place them on a floor. Uh, you're going to want to make sure you place more of those rooms on the first floor so the first floor is bigger than the second floor so you can easily fit the second floor on top of the first floor. Uh, so here's a ridiculous little image to capture that as a concept. Uh, it does not matter that you would never build a building like this. Uh, you know, what is this space? I have no idea other than a leak. Uh, it doesn't matter as long as the second floor is smaller than the first floor. There is one caveat to that, which people will always mention, is it is possible if I have on the first floor and I have a, a door going out on the first floor, let's say going into the lobby, um, that I could actually extend the second floor out over the top of that to create a canopy for that as an entryway. Uh, so that is actually written into the rules. I wouldn't ever do it because I don't know how, like what distance is that okay to do? It doesn't say ever what distance is okay. It doesn't say how far an overhang is okay. I just wouldn't do it. Just keep the second floor smaller than the first floor and life will be better. It never says anywhere that you have to protect anybody from the rain, so don't bother. And then keep the corridor simple. So we talked about this a little bit, but if you're doing something and I've got a straight corridor with a lobby uh, and stairs at either end, and then maybe I have my big room here, uh, or maybe it's over here. Okay, that looks like it's gonna be fine. Or maybe it's an L-shaped and I've got stairs at either end, and then there's my lobby, and then I've got the big room maybe there. That looks great. Uh, something like this, there's the big room, there's my lobby, that's all good. Uh, when I get into something like this, oh my God, that's horrible, right? That you're just, that just, you can tell immediately that's just not gonna pass, it's just not working. So there you go, don't do that. <laughs> uh, so keep it simple and then try to find a pattern that, that works with it. If at the very end, as you're just finishing something up and you realize there's a little trick that you need to do and you ended up having to make this corridor shift a little bit to, to make that work, uh, as long as it kept the six foot uh, minimums, you know, that's fine. Like it's okay if you end up doing something to, to make something work at the end, 
but start with something simple and straightforward.